it goes against our, our natural instinct. hello everyone welcome to the channel today this is your girl hannah how are you guys doing hope you're doing well like for me i'm bubbling up because of what i have to share with you guys today so make sure you stay tuned and if you're new to the channel do subscribe if you're not new to the channel you've been watching for a while what are you waiting for you know you got to subscribe to the channel so subscribe join the family we we'll would love to have you in this family it will be a cool thing to have you in the family so have you ever wondered like there are times when you wish you had been brave when you wish you had been able to ask speak up or when you wish you've been able to stand up to some things probably at work in school or in your life like maybe when you went out and stuff like that happened and you wish you just had been brave enough to like do what you were supposed to do do the right thing or say what you were supposed to say and stuff like that well if you have been then i guess i'm not alone in the universe because i have been there are many times when i come back home from work from school or maybe just going out and i just wish i had had the guts to speak up to stand to acts and stuff like that and today i just want to talk about courage the fact that it is very very important that ev each and every one of us have courage but the truth is yes there is a need for us to have courage for us to be courageous for us to speak out when things happen to us outside and when things happen to us like in person but how easy is it is it something that you just <laughs> develop like over time no courage or bravery is not a skill that you just you, you like just attaches itself to you just like that or something like you're born with well you could be born with it inherit but bravery and courage is something you can develop it's a skill that can be developed and with practice as i always say in my channel with practice and time you can achieve and you can be able to cultivate and have this skill to your disposal it is very important and today i'm just going to be talking about how we can cultivate the skill of bravery how we can be able to stand up you know for what we believe in how we can be able to like cultivate our bravery sk uh, skills it's not going to be something that will just happen like immediately after you watch this video no you need to put the points i'm going to be giving down to work you need to practice them you need to exercise your bravery skill every day as you go out over time and when you do this it's going to like serve a lot so right now i'm going to be talking about ways you can build your courage and bravery for life number one is to set goals number one is to set bold goals i know there might be a an area in your life where you're not so proud of or you're struggling with or stuff like that probably your weight probably your academics probably stuff like you know like something in your life that you want to improve or you are not so cool with personally not because someone else is saying that to you but because you're not so cool with it and stuff like that set goals to improve that area set goals to work it out so for example say you're not so happy with your weight and you want to trim down work towards it and with time you're going to get there like you're going to be able to achieve your dream feel more proud of yourself and feel more like okay with what is happening around you because sometimes like when there is some place uh, some area in our lives that we also are not comfortable with it becomes a loop or it becomes um, an area a sensitive area to us when someone out there speak um, towards that area or 
like say something rudely to us towards that area then you begin like it just snaps out your courage um your courage or your uh, bravery because you know that what they are saying in a way is true so try to fix that up by creating bold goals number two don't be afraid to say no like <laughs> don't be afraid to say no i know like some of us are just wired to say yes and we're always conscious of what people will think out there if we say no or if we refuse to do what they want us to do but being brave is saying no when you want to say no so if you feel like saying no don't care about as in them the consequences and just say no and the truth is if you're a person that is always saying yes to everything people are going to use that against you because they see that and they're going to use it against you so but if you can be able to say no whenever you want to say no or whenever you feel the need to say no then that people begin to understand that they can't um use you whenever they feel like or they can impose stuff on you whenever they feel like and stuff like that so that's you standing up for yourself or that's you being being courageous and brave so whenever you have to say no say no like nobody's gonna kill you for saying no don't let anyone blackmail you into saying what you don't want to say let your no be no and let your yes be yes if that's what you want fine if that's not what you want then make sure that you are the one calling the shots the third point will be asking for what you want sometimes we want some things but we're so scared to ask because we feel like oh what will people maybe we're not going to be giving or what will people say or maybe you know stuff like that someone i have been close with will always say this he'll say that the only thing they can say is no and if they say no then you know at least they've said no you understand they're not going to beat you for asking so it's better you even ask than not to ask so how do you know if a person is going to say no to you or how do you know if a person is going to refuse you from getting so and so that you want why not just ask you understand ask what you want if there's something you want ask if it, if the person decides to say no respect the person's no just like you would want someone to respect you or to respect your decisions like when you say no to so but like you asking doesn't make you foolish it doesn't mean anything other than if the person doesn't want to give it to you if the person would just say no so please learn to ask so many times i've refrained from asking and then because i'm feeling a certain emotion or i'm feeling a certain way or i'm feeling like maybe the person is going to deny me and i'm going to look stupid and then another person just walks right in front and just asks the same thing and the person is being given so i have learned over time that if there's something i want i'll just ask if the person says no then i respect the person's decision at least i know that i've asked number four say sorry this is very hard for a lot of people like i know a lot of people that just can't say sorry <laughs> like they know they are at fault but they won't say sorry it's not even the fact that maybe Maybe they are not at fault they are at fault but they won't say sorry saying sorry is like for me it's not something that we should shy away from because we uh, because of pride or whatever it is no being courageous means that you do the right thing being courageous means that you stand up for what is right and true at all times so if you feel like like so if you have offended somebody or you've wronged somebody in any way don't be scared to say sorry no the person is not going to think bad of you like in fact when people say sorry to you when they've offended you you feel more okay it doesn't mean that the person is because you are the one saying sorry you are now beneath the person in any way no sorry doesn't mean that sorry just means that you acknowledge that what you've done is wrong and you're sorry about it that's what it, 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 it means but i know here in nigeria or maybe that's just how it is with, with human beings all over the world it, it's there's just this some people just find it so hard to just say sorry they feel like when they say sorry it means that they are now submitting beneath the person that they are saying sorry to and stuff like that but that is not the mentality you want to have when you are dealing with um when you want to build your courage or when you want to build your bravery if you've done something wrong to someone please don't be afraid to say you're sorry and don't be ashamed to say you're sorry don't let shame 
or pride stop you from being courageous and being brave to do the things that is right number five stand up for yourself no one is going to stand up for you you eventually will have to stand up for yourself so stand up for yourself you know because of my petite nature like the fact that i'm not on the tall side you go out and people just feel like okay because you're in this then the small uh, smallish category or, or stature in stature like people just feel like they or they can talk to you anyhow or they can put you down or they can like insult be insultive to you and be rude to you and stuff like that but hey you cannot be waiting for other people to stand up for you you have to stand up for yourself so if someone is being rude or if someone is not doing the right thing around you just because they feel like okay they can run shreds all over you you need to stand up for yourself you need to speak out you need to like address the issue there and then like do not be afraid to address the issue do not be afraid to stand up for yourself because no one will do that for you number six dare to rock the boat so like this is also a follow-up of my previous point if you need to rock the boat girl guy rock it <laughs> like don't be afraid to rock it the truth is some people are just going to be pain in the ass and sometimes when you don't stand up to them they just keep repeating the abuses and stuff like that because they feel like you are weak and you are easily you are an easy target and they can run shreds all over you you just need to dare to rock the boat so if there is a, an issue you need to confront probably with your friends or in your workplace or in school or stuff like that or anywhere like that if there's something you need to address do not be scared to address it if there's something going wrong in your neighborhood that you feel you need to address do not be do not be scared about it don't be like oh what, what will my neighbors say about me or what will like other people say about me they will say i'm a troublemaker and stuff like that is wrong is wrong stand up for it like don't be afraid to confront it don't be afraid to um talk about it like mostly this also affects a lot um, friendship a lot some friends just feel like okay this is going on i need to bury it because we are friends and i don't want it to affect our friendship but you are putting your friendship on the line every day by not addressing the issue because if you don't address the issue it's just going to keep coming back like it's going to keep happening over and over because probably the next person doesn't even know that he or she is offending you so you need to be able to confront an issue whenever it is happening that way you're building your courage and you're building your bravery number seven stop digging if someone has said something behind your back let it be the person it just means that the person is too scared to say it in front of you if the person says it in front of you then you can address the issue but if someone is speaking to you behind your back or someone is saying stuff behind i don't think it is cool enough for you to start digging to find out information to find out what is happening to find out no 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 you don't need to be that you need to be the matured one yes yeah. so if that is what is happening you just know that they are lacking the bravery uh, or the bravery or courage uh, um, um, skill in their life and just let it be let it go because it's behind behind you it's not in front of you you understand but when you have something like someone talking like in front of you being like not cool you need to be able to stand up for yourself some people are just bullies they are bullies like that's just their name so if you have bullies around you you need to stand up for yourself like i've said before now uh in my previous point number eight let the grudge go you don't need the grudge stop keeping grudges if you've watched some of my videos or if you watch like been watching my videos i always say it's not worth it to keep grudge it's not worth it to keep something in your mind because at the end of the day you are the one that is going to be suffering the other person doesn't know that probably doesn't know how hot you are or stuff like that but you are the one that will be suffering because you are keeping it in your heart and your mind and you're going to keep remembering it over and over and keep getting hot and hot so you need to let this go 
like let it go it's not what you keeping a grudge it's not what you having something in mind if you have something to say say it and move on you understand like move on you are addressing a person's fault or you are addressing a person's issue that is not enough for you to start keeping grudges with them or keeping malice or stuff like that is not healthy it's not worth it so if um if like there is a confrontation confront it and let it pass let it go stop keeping grudges it's not healthy for you so guys with all this i've said if you keep at it you're going to build your courage skill you're going to be brave and it like i said it's not something that you just develop in a day you need to continuously daily stand up for yourself speak out you know do what you have ought to you need to like follow the point daily like make it a life style and eventually with practice you're gonna build the skill i know at first the whole your whole body might be shaking it goes against our, our natural instincts so i know that the first time you try this you're going to feel all weird and stuff like that but then if you don't build it people are going to keep running over you so you need to build the skill and you need to be able to stand up for yourself and build your courage level because it is very very important so it is a skill you need to build over time and with practice and i know that you're going to get there if you're new to the channel please do subscribe hit the bell icon to get notification if you have been watching my video for a while and you've not subscribed please also subscribe give this video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and share so that others will benefit from this video see you guys in the next video bye